chart, it's not just a technology. It's part of a way of thinking of using what's waste and recapturing it uh, for a, a far better purpose. We're an urban planet that's being uh, overcome by an urban tsunami of growth of massive proportions of people, mostly in developing country cities. Well, in 2000, there were six billion of us on the planet, three billion in cities and three billion in rural areas. By 2020, it's now close to five and a half billion people living in cities. And that's going to expand by 2050, mostly in developing countries. So they're desperately going to need the shark type of innovative techniques that are integrated into a sustainable city strategy and integrated to a whole different way of thinking about energy in a smart way. It is forgotten water. Now it's remembered and being utilized very effectively by shark. And it's trillions and trillions of gallons. To recapture that worldwide would reduce energy uh, need dramatically, would uh, help us with uh, lowering the uh, rise in temperature through climate change in the world, create a revenue source for municipalities and utilities. And we desperately need to do that very quickly all over the world. Not just to create a place you want to live in, but to deal with the huge energy problems that we've got. I think it's in the same family of big ideas, uh, whatever that Apple's done so brilliantly, or Tesla in developing electric cars. Shark is in that level of big ideas that we need in this world. The shark, it's the backbone of doing buildings greener in the world. You can have building codes, but you're still gonna need energy. This new technology accelerates the whole idea of a sustainable city with a smart energy plan.